Oh shit. Oh, this shorty. Oh, we'll see what that's about. Hello? Hey, hey, hey. what's up, babe? No, that's out of pocket. What you mean your twin sister think I'm cute? Yeah, I got a cousin. He look just like me. She like me with bald ears and beards. Bald head? Yeah. I'm about to go with that. I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, he got a bald head. Yeah. Yeah, he look like me, Ross. That's a twist, huh? All right, I'm gonna put you on. I'm gonna put you on. Let's li let's link up. I got you. All right, babe. Nigga. Yo. Oh. She got a twin sister. Bro, I'm not cutting my hair, dog. You see this shit? I took too much time for this to get these waves. Bone here's his hand. Matter of fact, you don't even gotta cut your hair. I got something for you. Sounds good, nigga. Yo, bro, it's this new app. It's called Snapchat Fish. Snapchat Fish? Yeah, it's like, it's an app where you can put all these different wild filters on your face, man. So look, shorty like a guy with a bald head and a beard. Just like me. Baldies is a twin bad, sister, man. she bad. Baldies isn't. A lot of people got them. Let me put you on. So basically, all you do is slide over here, and you hold this button, and BAM! You're oh, looking like Rick Roll, shit. baby. Damn. <laughs> You're looking good. I don't look too bad, So man. look, what I'm saying is, all you got to do, send her a couple of these pictures. By the time she get here, we tell her your hair grew back in an hour. I like this, man. I got you, I like man. this. Hold on, let me see something real quick. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, so you know I'm getting older now, yeah, right? Yeah. And these girls, she's 26. So she ain't want no old dude like me. So what pics do you think I sent? Yeah, I put a Snapchat fish on a oh filter, my dog. God. Listen, they got one that make me look younger. Want to see what I look like? Check this out. What? Damn, dog. She <laughs> took like 20 years off your age from them. Bro. And that's it. I'm 40. She in her 20s. Had to bang her with this. Looking like Steph Curry. Man, she gonna think you gonna need to get car to get some fucking light liquor, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. Hey, yo, man, I'm about to go cook something. You fuck around with this, man. Get your filters right, man. Fuck around. Send us some flicks, man. They'll be here today. All right, man. Let me see what's up with this joint, man. Got the Rick Ross joint. Boss. I'm loving this shit. I like the Black Mr. Clean. Man. I just was at these corny ass fucking football games up Sharon Hill, man. Yeah. Some D League shit. What you do, man? Bro, what the fuck is you doing? What you mean, man? Look, man. This is a slit slice was showing me about. Look. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, man. Snapchat fish, man. This is that shit right here. Look. He said he got some bitches coming over, man. And they only talk to niggas that got ball here. So look. Look at this shit. This shit work. Look. Yeah. That's some scary shit, man. Man, this is the new shit that's going on, man. Man, y'all niggas tripping. Yo, Slice. Yo. Yo, my nigga. Yo, let me, let me tell you about these motherfucking football games, nigga. Ugh. Ah, man, this boy here. He's man. still playing with these filters, man. Snapchat fish. You need to get down, man. Yo, hold up. What type of bitches y'all got coming over here uh -huh. that fuck with bald niggas? What you talking about? We in style, bro. Everybody yeah. getting bald heads these days. Look, man, I'm about to be the next black Mr. Clean out this joint, dog. I'm looking right. I'm loving this shit. You better get down. You got to get a beard, though. Hey, listen, man. I, listen, I don't need none of that shit. Mm -hmm. I got a bitch that's blind. Who blind? blind? Only fuck with blind niggas. So she can't see, and she only like niggas who can't see. That's right. You going straight to hell. Hey, listen, oh, listen, guys, listen. listen. You need to get a fucking filter. Fuck all that. This the only motherfucking filter I need right here, nigga. I mean, fuck, she gonna see this?
welcome to the first quarter of the, the Talk, Talk Heavy, Heavy Podcast. Podcast. Yeah, episode 30 30 in the building. That's Dirty 30. 30 straight weeks, man. You got to be impressed. Hey, man, listen. To that motherfucker who told us we wouldn't get past episode five, backdoor dickhead. <laughs> it's a Philly line. Backdoor dickhead. Why don't you where that, where that reference come from? Uh Septa. Septa, all right. All man. the young boys that be in school Ignorant that be on the bus ass, when the bus when the bus is crowded. That's yeah. the line in Philly. They backdoor backdoor dickhead. Yeah, fuck them badass kids, man. All right, here we go, man. Let's get into it, man. Without further ado, man. Let me introduce who I am. This is your host, the Prince of Hunted Park. Mr. Two Push Ups at night. The BBW lover, the pregnant woman slayer, mm. the man built in the image of God, mm. the man that your fucking boyfriend could never compare to, Slice Maximus. Hey, listen, man. It's the North Philly legend, uh-huh. Strawberry Mansion's finest, yeah. the BBW hater, the pregnant woman creator. What they call me, Slice? Jesus' first cousin, man. I'm Jesus' first cousin. Go raw, cause the condom keep bussing. From North Philly to South Beach, cause that's about as long as this pipe reach. G <laughs> underscore winner. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm glad you got this nice ass uh, intro for yourself. Yeah, you, you know, I'm feeling. How I'm, you claim the South Beach? You've been to South Beach two times, and now you fucking from North Philly to South Beach? I've been to South Beach once, actually. Oh, shit. That's even worse. Hey, man, I can't go back. You still owe fucking Manny money. I told you Manny is coming. All right, here we go. First quarter, if you follow the show, then you know it's about sports. Uh, we're two of the greatest football coaches to ever walk the face of the earth. Ever. Ever. Can you say ever again? Ever. You heard it there you, twice? What y'all want to hear the stats? Mm. I could throw some stats throw out some there. Stats four, to four, four time national champion. I only got two, but uh, that's cool. Good. Six time regional champion. That oh. means the whole entire East Coast. Yeah, you 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 heavy, you heavy. Ten time city champion. Mm -hmm. City of Brotherly. Mm -hmm. The only person in the history of Philadelphia to ever take two teams to nationals in one year, mm -hmm. and I did it twice. Two times. Two times. Two times. Two times. Yeah, that's totally the only. Heavy. The only the only coach in Philadelphia that never wear the same uniforms twice. Mm -hmm, that's heavy. Mm. That's seven heavy. weeks, seven uniforms. That's it. Even counting scrimmages. We got dressed for those too. Yeah, we did that. We did that. Mm, what else? Uh, the only coach to ever change helmets at halftime. Of a championship you know what I'm saying? game. Of a championship oh, game. Championship? Yeah, yeah, championship yeah. game. You yeah. know, we came out with chrome, gold chrome helmets. Mm -hmm. Then at halftime, we came out with, with black one. matted on. Mm -hmm. It's never been done in the history of Philadelphia. Heavy talk. Who did that? Nobody but us. Mm. Mm. All right, we leave it there. That's too much for them. That's just in case they forgot. You know what I mean? Because you even beat the most, beat the most Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. mm. The longest reign uh, knocked off the Novus Raiders when uh, they had yeah. uh, five knocked years off, straight did. undefeated. Five, beat the team that had the five year straight run. Mm. Mm. Who did that? Heavy. Mm. That be us. That's heavy. Let's talk about it. That's man. heavy hitters. All right, so we're on the sports set. Let's talk about the night, man. Uh, if y'all don't know, man, this is Game One of the championship. NBA. You who, know you who, who, who you taking? That, that, who you taking? We already know. I who like you, Jimmy who you got. Butler. I like who you Jimmy got. Butler. Who, no, come on, bro. Cut the bullshit. But LeBron James, baby. You already know who it is. I'm the rocking. best player to best. ever play the game over Michael Jordan. I'm not even going to argue with you today. We're going to move forward. LeBron James, call me, bro. Holla at you later. Come on. What's the next topic? Man, we off for NBA. That's it. I ain't talking That's about it. it. That's, That's it. That's it for NBA. Because you're going to say that bullshit. That's it. You're going to say that bullshit mm -hmm. and just think I'm going to let that slide. What else that's is not, it say? That's not even LeBron's team. What else does it say? It is not, his it's team. not his team. It's his team. He LeBron, let his young... LeBron is Robin right now. He's, he's not him... Batman no, on that he's team. he's fucking Batman. He's not Batman. He's, he's Batman. fucking Robin. He's not Robin. He's he's Anthony he's, Davis? I'm, yes, it's his team. It's not his fucking it's team. It's his team. Don't, LeBron just pretending like it's his team and let him feel good. Yeah. All right, here Whatever. we go. Fuck that. I ain't even want to talk about NBA and this championship. You what know you what I want to talk about? What you trying to talk about, bro? You know what I want to talk about? Let's get to the point. Let's just get to it. The man that you're afraid of. On my shirt, Michael fucking Tyson. Would you rumble him now? Listen. You said 10K, listen, right? Listen, you want me to tell you how calm I am? Nigga, I will fight Mike dressed like this, nigga. Do I look like, do I look like I'm worried, nigga? Can somebody at Mike do Tyson? Do I look worried, nigga? Can somebody at Mike Tyson at home? Come on, man. Hey, Mike, listen. Two or rounds. Two rounds for 200,000. Oh, Mike. Two rounds for 200,000. Mike know you ain't going to make it to the second round, It don't though. matter. So, like I said, if Mike, listen, if Mike knocked me out, in the first round. He will. What y'all gonna do? Laugh at me? 
Yes. Uh, th- it's not going to matter. You're not going to hear it. I it's know, not, not going to matter. matter you're gonna be I'm knocked out by Mike Tyson. It does not matter. You won't know who's laughing. Listen. You're going to be asleep. Guess what, though? Guess what, though? Do not be trying to spend none of my money. Mm-hmm. Don't come around when we out. Me and Ant-Man is out splurging, Wait, who getting you, jiggy with y'all it. Y'all going to be walking through the mall? Yes. You're not going to be walking. <laughs> you're going to be in a fucking wheelchair. What is wrong with you? Listen, oh, I'm going to buy you the deluxe wheelchair with the motherfucking newest DVD player, even though they don't use them no fucking Hey, more. listen. Hey, listen. And let's, you only going to get a DVD player. All right, let's stomach. talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Who you taking in the fight? Let's talk about that. Who you taking in the fight? Are you not looking at my shirt? All right. Hey, listen. And hey, Ant-Man. 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 Who you got, Ant-Man? Ant-Man. Who you got? Ant-Man says he has Roy Jones, ladies Ant-Man and gentlemen. Ant-Man is a fucking drug Ant-Man said he has Roy Jones, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're going to do is, we going, what we're going to do is, right, we're going, we going to view their highlights, no. their warm-up of, the, of them training. Oh, and y'all, And I... y'all tell me, y'all tell me who y'all think. Y'all tell me who y'all think. It's easy. Y'all tell me who y'all think. Iron fucking Mike. Let's take a look. Take a look. You see that motherfucking hand oh. speed? That's that hand speech you talking about, Ant Man. Ant Man, best some of that uh urban on there, man. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. He's not gonna be able to keep. He's not gonna be able to keep Mike. He's faster than I thought. Now, oh, he faster. Wait. But look, listen. Yeah. Foot movement is at a minimum. Yeah. You know he never had no defense. It never had never had no defense. Ah. Oh, that's speed, though. I don't know. That's speed. Man, that shit not keeping Mike off of him, bro. He got these same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Slice, them, them boy, Slice. Uh, I could no. do that right now. Yeah. I could do, do that right now. You couldn't do it that fast. Not your dreams. All right, man. That's enough of this. Corner. Uh, man, that's uh, enough. That's enough of that uh, shit. Let's get to the motherfucking. Uh, uh, let me, let's get to the main uh, attraction. Uh, let me see my boy Mike. Mike probably knocked the fucking train out right now. You might as well just go straight through it, man. Just go. Yeah, let's go. Fuck it. Go let's ahead. Go. Let's, let's just, see what Mike talks about. To- now that's a fucking fighter, baby. Look at this. He's gonna fucking knock Ant Man. How much you want bet? Look at this. This man's about to die. He has no pets. How much you want bet? Let's bet a light wager, man. Hey man, a, listen. A light wager. I <laughs> might, I might need three hundred k. No, 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 no. You're gonna fight him too. You talking all that shit? He go. As you can see, man, that's enough, man. Mike, what more do we gotta show you, man? Mm. Oh Lord Jesus. Uh, listen, you can stop this, man. Okay. Get that out of here. Cut that bread, Ant Man. Listen, I got fucking ninety four dollars on Mike Tyson right now. Ninety four dollars? Yeah, rent due. It's almost the first. Nigga, what the fuck you gonna do with that? Mike is the favorite. You're not gonna get no money for that. You gotta Listen. put the ninety four dollars on Roy to get money. Listen, I will never put my ninety four dollars on Roy. Bro, you, you can tell I'm you, only got ninety four dollars after you I can pay tell rent. You never bet at the poppy store. First of all, the price of rent is too high. I know that got nothing to do with fucking sports, but there's no reason why slice, I'm slice, paying all slice. this money for fucking okay, rent. Slice. And I can't even bet on my Let's stop acting like yeah. the majority of the first quarters that we do don't have nothing to do with sports. It Nigga, does. we did a whole first quarter last week on week. Paying rent is a sport. <laughs> first of all, you got all this money you got to do. You got 31 days. This shit is like a fucking challenge. You got 30 to 31 days to find they all the fucking money. They got you out here in these streets running around. For a mortgage, you got 30 to 31 days, though. You might got to work overtime. Can I tell you something, though? You might got to rob somebody. Gotta, it's all can I tell you something, though? You got an easy job, though. How you, you, fucking you, gotta, work hard? you got an easy job, What's though. What's my job? Because, listen, it's not hard to get money from BBWs, bro. Who the fuck? It's not hard, bro. What, it's not what hard. Make it, right, go ahead, let but me they this. only spend money on food. This, that's it. Right? You just, so if you're doing what you suppose, what you say you're doing, uh-huh. if you're getting them, if you're getting that carpet burn on your beard the way you're telling me yeah, you is, uh-huh. you shouldn't have no problems paying the bills, bro. Nah. You know what I'm saying? And it, like you told me last week. Mm-hmm. It's about to be cold outside. Cuddles. You know what I'm saying? Cover season. You got they the best colors. Yeah. So I hear. So, so oh, I you, hear. Oh, you know. So I hear. You know. You just, I don't know. Ladies at home, he I only talking about y'all BBWs like that because one broke his fucking heart and he's a fucking lonely piece of shit right now. It's uh, okay. Uh, BBWs B- break a lot of shit. That's it, man. That's the end of the first quarter, man. Disrespect. This second quarter is brought to you by Mad, Mad Creations. Creations. Hey, man, make sure you go to IG and hit up at Mad Creations 215 for any type of customized apparel or printing, man. Mad Creations has created the official Talk Heavy coasters, mm-hmm. the table banner, our customized headphones, man. Mad Creations also has classes to where you, too, can make all of this customized apparel, man. Another thing Mad Creations is doing. 
every Thursday on IG and on Facebook at 6 p.m. Mad Creations is going live with a Q&A. You can ask any questions that you want about customizing apparel, man. I heard that they hiring and looking for people. to. They're also looking for drivers. They're also looking for... Uh, graphic, graphic designers, designers man yeah. And a few other things man So make sure you go to IG And hit up At Mad Creations 215 Don't get angry Simply get mad Welcome To the second quarter of The, the Talk, Talk Heavy, Heavy Podcast. Podcast Yeah 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 It's one of my favorite quarters man It's the time when I get to interact With the people at home well, don't, I don't never get to interact With the people at home They don't like you They like me That's why they reach out to me And ask me the fucking questions To uh, give to you that's I, think, I think they ask me man Because I'm more personable Right I'm better looking oh. I'm smarter man, That's pretty much it That's the reason why they ask me I don't know Why would they reach out to you That nigga just told three lies <laughs> Oh shit here we go They told three lies Listen This one here is kind of interesting You know We wait, always Time out mm-hmm. Wait time out I think that that's a perception That you're more personable Than I am I am. You're not. You don't think so? No. Everybody loves me. At over 180, the fuck? Everybody under 180 pounds, I'm here. Oh my God. Ladies at home, don't listen to them. Here we go. I got a real question of the day. You're going to like this, too. Okay. It's, it's kind of, you speak. I think you'll give some good advice. So I'm going to go. Oh, before I get into it, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, man. Answer the question if you got have some input for this nice young man. I guess he's kind of young. Hey, young. Uh, what you can say? 26, 26, young? Um, yeah, that's young. All right, it's a young man. He's not a teenager. He's a young man. All right. Yeah, he's a, he's a young man. Young fella, 26, 26 years old, right? Mm-hmm. He hit me up, and he's saying that he got a dilemma. As he, they always do. Well, that's why they call it talk. They call talk. I don't know why they call it talk. Every podcast. I do. This is the place where you're going to get it real. You heard the young girl feeling last week. Right, she told no, us she's never gonna get married she's to not. this guy. I she's know, and we talk, but I apologize. I hope she continues to watch, I and will. they know they're gonna get it real. So let's give it to them. All right, this nice young man. Um, I was about to tell the university he goes <laughs> to. <laughs> All right, I can't do the question today. I'm the always get, and this is the motherfucker y'all call. Yeah, because they trust me. All right, so look, nice young man. He is in college, right? He's been talking to some Wait, girl. Wait, time out. Uh-huh. He's 26 yeah. in college. Yeah. How? I don't the fucking fuck know. Is... He's 26 in college. He could be in grad school. Nigga, he's still be... Never mind. He's 26 in college. Continue. Motherfuckers go to college, go back to school? That explains why he called the Talk Heavy podcast. <laughs> You're a little slow. Continue. You're a little slow. Up. You ain't got to be slow to be 26 in college. Yeah, yeah, you do. I'm about to tell the university. But yeah, I... you do. No, you don't. The hot, the nigga did some, people don't, some people go to college from work. What if this man don't know? He don't got to fucking go the traditional way. He's a non-traditional okay. student. Okay, that nigga with the Lincoln Tech. I Class of February, nigga. <laughs> Class of February. <laughs> yo, you a fucking hater, yo. Yo, my man, please oh, continue shit, getting that nigga started college with the pandemic. <laughs> the nigga, it was online. All right, come on, bro. What's the question? God What's damn. Question, All right, man? he hit us up, man. He been talking to some girl by way of internet. I don't want to get the timing wrong. Under a year, before a while. Some months, All right. right? Okay. I'm trying to remember the letter. Right? But he been talking to her for some months. He's grown to like her. Mm-hmm. He says, man, she's very good looking, all of these things. When he finally goes to meet her, it's fucked up. He says, I'm sorry, I hate laughing. Not... He says she don't look nothing like her fucking pictures, man. He said she kind of looks like herself, but he like, with all the filters and shit, he like, her skin was like real fucking smooth on the pictures. But he said, when he got to her, she looked like Bumble still skin. Them Snapchat filters got y'all fucked up out there. You know, so listen. The thing is, he likes her. You know what I mean? They talking on the phone. He's looking at the fucking Snapchat picture. So they texting. He got, well, they weren't so, talking when they texting. So, so he got Snapchat fished. He got Snapchat yeah, fished. That's what you want to call it. He got Snapchat, Snapchat fished. fished. So them Snapchat filters, let me tell you something. They just something. said her face was real let bumpy and fucked Slice, up. I've seen the picture that somebody put up with you in it, right? It was you. Um, I was looking yeah, good you, in you all was my looked, pictures. Yo, and the, and, the, uh, and the person put a Snapchat filter on it. Right? I've never seen Slice's skin this clear. Ladies at Yo, home, listen, check this skin out right listen, now. This Go nigga, ahead. this nigga looked beautiful. <laughs> Damn. This nigga was beautiful. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie. She put the Snapchat filter on my shit. My shit was flawless. Yeah, your shit was flawless. But I ain't like it. I look like a stop. fucking cartoon Yo, y'all character. is fucking the game up with these Snapchat, Snapchat filters. That's what you call Yo, that? y'all gotta chill. Y'all gotta chill. Because it's almost like catfish, but it's really you. But you can never listen. You'll so, never oh, look that good. Is it? We're gonna title this fucking Snapchat fish. Snapchat fish. Is that even a word, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. You know, I'll be making shit up. All right, fuck it. He got Snapchat fish. So 
These filters is fucking fooling people, is what you tell me. Listen, so what's the so what's his dilemma? The dilemma is he really feels some tight way about her. Like he really likes her, How? but now he feels like she's ugly. How? Hmm? How you really like her? You never he like, met her. No, no, from, from conversation. They've been talking for a while. So he kind of developed feelings, but now he feels as though she's ugly. He feels like This really sounds like a fucking episode of Catfish. But for one thing, mm -hmm. um, I could really never understand how you could catch feelings for somebody that you've never physically seen. I mean, maybe it's it just happen. me. Maybe it's just me. But I would at least think that you have to at least see the person. Like, you you getting a physical attraction no. from pictures, people from the be, gram? Is the gram that sending, strong? People be sending checks. I'm about to get into this catfish business thing here. I only got $94 after the first. Um, I got to get into this business because, I mean, shit tight around right here. I've been catfished. You been catfished? I've been catfished. I've been catfished. You been catfishing, motherfuckers. I ain't been catfishing, motherfuckers. No. Somebody catfished me before, No, you though. been catfishing, motherfuckers. Ladies uh, at home, let me I tell been you. catfishing. Ladies at home, he's only like 5'3". How tall are you? 5'4", nigga. He's 5'4", ladies and gentlemen. What you want me to stand Let me tell you what the fuck goes on. When we take pictures, right? He stands on the chair next to me. Y'all know I'm 6'1". Y'all think he's 6'1". You go out on a date. Let me tell you something. he can't get on the roller coasters because he's too short. Let me tell you That's what the fuck I heard. I don't even like roller coasters. Oh, my God. But I understand. You been you been catfished before for real? Yeah, I've been catfished. I been I was catfished. Uh, you ain't send no checks, did you? No, no. I, you know, I don't, I don't bust, I don't bust down no checks. But I was catfished by this, uh, by this chick. I, and it mm -hmm. was crazy because this was before catfish was out. You know what I'm saying? It was like uh, <laughs> I got catfished on. Uh, this shit was on AOL. You know what I'm saying? When they used to, you've got mail. I, you know what I'm saying? I was catfished then. Yeah, I was catfished then because it wasn't. It was less accessible. Nobody would catfish me right now, bro. It's no nobody would catfish me right no. now. Back in AOL, in the chat, you used to have to type in age, sex, location. It wasn't like pictures of people. Like your profile okay. was just your name. So how you get catfished? Because it was like, yo, I, I started talking to the chick or whatever. She sent me her number. So we would talk on the phone all the time, right? But then she would send me like these pictures. And it was just like, yo, she looked too good. She looked too good she for me. She looked too good. <laughs> but ever, whenever I good? would be like, yo, send me a picture right now. Mm -hmm. It will always be like some beauty queen shit. I'm like, yo, you look that good right now? Did you have dial up internet? You know how that shit used to be? Yeah, dial up. Oh, okay, nigga, I everybody had dial up. Nigga. No, I had Wi Fi back then. No, it was no Wi Fi, nigga. I had Wi Fi. Me and Puff, Puff, Puff looked out for me back in the well, day. Where the fuck is Puff the Puff money at right now? Nigga? Puff call us because I got $94 after that. the first. Go ahead. Oh, you spent you spent all Puff money at the buffet with the BBWs. Yes. <laughs> Yo, you said one more BBW joke, man. We fighting after this episode, man. Ladies at home, man. I, I, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him. Go ahead. Holy Let's go, shit, man. man. You've been catfish. So I she was, AOL I've been catfish. chilling off the BBWs for 15 weeks. Yeah, yeah, man. You've been pretty good. So you've been catfish. I've yeah, never yeah, been. I've been catfish. I've never bro. been catfished. I've been that's catfished. Hard. Like even down to the point where I got catfished to the point where uh, she sent me an address. You went? Yeah, I went. But she gave me like the next storage on. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? I, you know, she wound up like coming out, right? Like it was like I had the next door address. It was like a couple of doors down. And I when I was there knocking on the door. Mm -hmm. Like she tried, she tried to scam me. Like so, she tried to come out the house like she was just a regular person mm -hmm. and just like walking down the street because she wanted to walk past me to like check me check out. You out. And I could just know. You knew it. I knew. I just knew. Yeah, wild life. That's my. She was a BBW. You a fucking hater. No, no, you was no, a fucking hater. You no, lying. true story. No, true, lie. no, Ladies true and story. Ladies and gentlemen, always a fucking liar. No, that's a true story. And I that I think I might have just discovered my trauma. I might have just discovered. I might have just discovered what the issue is. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. I might just discover what the issue is. That's three months of my life I can't get back. Ant Man for fucking forty five dollars. I'm gonna set him up, man. I'm taking you to fucking L A Fitness or all the BBW room, man, and I'm gonna have him stomp you the fuck out because you just disrespectful. It's no BBWs in L A. First of all, let me tell you what's going on. Not to talk about this. There's another type of catfishing that's going on. Type is that? I don't know what you call it. It's trannies, Decepticons. Woo! That might be the major catfish. That's. Shit, that's it's get fish. Oh shit, get fish. That's, it, it, oh, shit, that's, that's a whole other level. Yo, <laughs> listen, it's a problem. It's a problem. Now, I, I gotta say this, man, with all this fucking training oh, shit, shit. That's why the ladies at home don't. Hey, yo. yo, ladies at can home. Can you imagine? Don't use can the you filter. Imagine Slice, Slice got a date at BBW show up with a dick. <laughs> Only you laughing at that nut ass shit. Listen, man, this is fucked up in society. It's because of the women, they wearing too much makeup. 
Oh, they got oh. all these fucking filters. Can I tell you something? Can fake I tell you something? lashes, fake hair, fake everything. Yeah. So these trannies got a fucking nice out. The fucking 2020, to 2020 is teaching women to lie. What? It's teaching y'all how to lie. Okay. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, y'all. We y'all become bigger liars as times go on. You know what I'm saying? They first get more it, money. Yeah. First it was weaves. This, this is a lie. Oh shit. You know what go. I'm saying? Weave is a lie. You know what I'm mm. saying? Some lashes. Not, lashes. Now it's the lashes. Mm -hmm. I want to burn down every eyelash. Factory, <laughs> everywhere. Fact. They even fact. they even got eyelashes on the cars. Yeah, I seen that shit. God, come That's on, bro. Ridiculous. Like Jesus, fucking Christ. So bro. with that, you got the Decepticons, right? Right. And that's fucking people up. But it's no excuse for niggas, right? Because they could tell if your Jordan's fake. Jordan, is, they can tell you Jordan's oh, by my. every fucking mm -hmm. aspect. Oh yeah, that's he got them. The right no, shade. that no. ain't. They got if them Jones can... on the ass. Yo, that ain't the Jones. But you can't tell. You can't tell a grown ass man. And address. It's a fucking problem. I'm not oh trying to hear that. I'm not trying to hear that shit no more. Y'all niggas like these trannies. And that's cool. If that's your thing. I, I mean, some niggas is into that. Do your thing. Some niggas is into that. So don't some niggas, it ain't really a mistake. They it's just, not really, it's not really they just act like it's a mistake mm -hmm. when they get caught. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They be really feeling them. They be really feeling. And hey, listen. More power to you. You know what I'm saying, Slice? If that's what you into, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know. It's not really my twist. You know, this is still be the talk heavy podcast. No, it wouldn't. But Shut it, it just be, be <laughs> <laughs> Shut it down. If Slice start liking trannies, this whole fucking program gets yeah, shut I'm, down. I'm out. Yeah, fuck but, that. but listen, it, if it, you it, like trannies at home, that's cool. I don't give a fuck. It's none of my business. But my whole neighborhood, right? If you go like three blocks down in Hunter Park, we got a fucked up strip. Or oh, your road turned crazy. Back in the day, it used to be crackheads. Now it's trannies. I don't know Trans what's going man. on down there. Yeah. But um, to each his own. That's still a form of catfishing, if you don't know. Well, that been that's the first catfishing. That's the first catfish? That's the original catfish. Is it? Yes. How long has it been going on? I don't know, but first the motherfucker, like, if you don't first, how can you not know a woman has a dick? Like, how can you how can you know? How can you not know? You don't look I, for the Adam's apple? I don't know. Do they not? Is they taking the Adam's apple out now? I don't fucking know. You keep asking me questions, I don't I'm know. I'm just saying, like, yo, no, because on some real shit. Every listen, and uh, all right, true story. And every nigga out there, every nigga out there mm -hmm. has experienced this. Every nigga's experienced this shit, right? If you see the right tranny, if you see the right tranny, what's the right tranny? Uh, let me tell you. Let me tell you, right? You're fucking me up. Let, this... let me tell you, because mm -hmm. if you go on Google right now, mm -hmm. you could pull up um, what's the joint name? Mm -hmm. Uh, Sydney Star back in the day, right? Back yeah, in the day, know. nobody knew. Sydney Star was a tranny. Who the fuck is Sydney Star? Sydney Star is the tranny. It's like one of the more famous uh, transsexuals. Uh, we've been saying tranny like a motherfucker. We're definitely getting canceled. Uh, oh, shit. Fuck this show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be doing uh, this on Instagram for uh, free. Transsexual. Uh, but nobody knew that it was a dude. Nobody knew it was a dude. But um, I have, you know, I've been out with my homies and we've been in the mall mm -hmm. and you know what I mean? You you get the right transsexual that got everything done and they just be walking past on first glimpse. Mm -hmm. You be like, damn. And then they turn around with the deep ass voice and you be like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, Let, so, so listen. So I got a question for you, right? No. I got a question the for you. The answer is no. No, no, no. Listen, everybody, everybody, in, the room, everybody right. in the room got answer. Sure. Everybody in the room got answer, right? We got multiple I, people I, I in the room. I ain't gonna lie. I got this question. Listen, I got this question from my man Devin Wade, though. I got this question from my man Devin Wade. It's just a, it's an in-house conversation that we had, you know what I'm saying, like a couple months ago, right? Since we on, since we on the topic, right? Mm -hmm. All right. You in the club, right? You in the club, mm -hmm. right? You dancing with this woman. You know what I'm saying? You dancing with this woman. This nigga's out of All mind. night. All, all night, night long. Right? All night long. You dancing with this woman all night long. Talking about sweat, y'all grinding. You, you know what I'm saying? You kissing them on the neck. And y'all really getting into you. In your mind, you like, oh my God, I know it's on when we leave here. Right? It's already going left. End of the night at the nightclub. Mm -hmm. They turn the lights on. You realize it's a man. Hey boy, you look mighty cute in them jeans. <laughs> That's it. Good. What you what what you doing? What, the what fuck we do you what mean? you what you doing? What you mean what you doing? What you gonna do? What the fuck is it to do? I, so I'm asking you, what you, Ant Man? What you doing, Ant Man? It, all right, so look, what, what you, you doing? What you doing? You leaving you out? Yeah, I'm probably leaving. You leaving you out? What you doing? Out. You just out. Yeah. You ain't swinging. You ain't want one fighting nothing. All right. So listen, <laughs> but nah. So listen, that's really not the real reason why you should just be out. The real reason that you should be out is because if you store up a ruscus, you gonna really bring the attention to the fact that. 
You know what I'm saying? So you might gotta just you gotta eat the fact. Yeah, you, you gotta just on the eat same. the fact. Now let me ask you this: that shit go down though, but everybody around you know that everybody around you know you that you've been. By that you've been no, you, 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 you with your man's in them. If I see you this with a tranny, no, I'm like, yo, you fuck, the fuck no, your listen, 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 they, 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 they clowning you though. They like, damn, slice, uh, like they, they clown yeah, you. Clown. All they, right. they clowning you. Clown so you. everybody know that this is what it is, but you. So the end of the night, they cut the lights on. We not friends no more. What's the, I'm just saying, yeah. what's going to happen? What, what happens? All you can do is leave. All you, you just, can do is leave. All you can do is leave. If you fight, what are you going to fight for? Because they know that you didn't you know. Gonna be on Instagram. They know that you didn't you know. You're going to be on Instagram all over the fucking net fighting a tranny. And they're going to be like, man, that was his boyfriend. They got into a fight at the club. Then that's how rumors get started. Now your reputation is wrong for That's why I don't dance. That's why I don't dance. Listen. Yo, we are not helping this man out with, the, with his fucking uh, catfish. Okay, so, I'm sorry, Snapchat so, fish. So, so Snapchat fish. All right, mm-hmm. so the Snapchat filters got you. He, he cared for um, but she's You kind of... Um, no cap though, you kind of a dickhead a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You got you got kind of take the responsibility for that because it's not like, bro. Listen, you can real, tell it's filters. No though. real shit, yeah, I'm real shit. You. you can't tell. You could tell that it's a filter, bro. Yeah. So at this point in time, it's 2020. At this point in time, like Instagram he filters, he been Instagram down. filters. All right, so before the Snapchat filters, Instagram had filters. Nigga, your phone come with filters. You got you. It got shit that you could. He should have FaceTime by now. Can we agree? It, it, this God is damn it! You should have video chat. Oh yeah, it's you too kinda, much tell technology, him again, kinda, bro. What? You kind of a dickhead on the low. There you go. Not all even right. on the low. High. On that's, high. that's on the high. Yeah, that's. You heavy. know what I'm saying? You got you could you could fucking Google Duo. Yeah, you you could Zoom. You could Snapchat. You could you could you could go through the DM video chat with DM. It's like, come I don't on, bro. Know, that's out of pocket. It's too much. It, it's no way that the first time you ever meet in a person is when you meet in a person. Maybe she had makeup on on the fucking Zoom. I, I don't know. Come if on, he, bro. He I don't give up. They don't make no makeup. That might no, be no, my no. next joint venture. No, no, if I can whoa, make whoa. makeup that look like a Snapchat filter, nigga. If I can make makeup that look like a Snapchat filter, bro. Ladies and gentlemen at home, fuck what you talking about. I would love a makeup artist to comment at the bottom. They turn a motherfucker from a fucking monster into a beauty queen with makeup, dog. Listen, they do. Let me tell you something. They do. Don't it get it still up. don't look as good as the Snapchat filter. But nigga, could, I can put a Snapchat no, filter on you right now and a good, nigga want to no, kiss you in the mouth, It could have been good enough to fool this nigga. She could have dimmed the lights at the crib and FaceTimed me with the makeup on. Bro, Looking great. I don't know. One. Nah, because sometimes oh, no. the makeup... You're too not much, the top dickhead too if much, you Too much makeup kind of make you flag. look... Yeah, too much makeup is a red flag because it's like, come on, bro. Like, I, I'm not a makeup guy, so I'm a little bit biased. But yeah, you you kind of the top dickhead that he ain't going in back 2020. To be a top yeah, he he got it. You got to. He could have got to see, bro. bro. You got to help I, people. I, I, listen, you're not a listen, top dickhead if you listen, FaceTime and she. You got to. You the top right. dickhead if the first time you meet somebody is when you meet them, especially if you met him. I guess I'm taking it that he met her online. Up, but why would she be bumped up when he met her and not fucking? Maybe he's seen it through the makeup. Bro, I don't fucking know. Nobody can compete with the filters. Shit is heavy. Nobody can compete. Nobody can compete with the filters, bro. All right, so let's help this man. What is he supposed to do now? He likes her personality. He don't like her fucking looks. Listen, the only thing that... Mm-hmm. This is my advice. Go ahead. My advice is you like her, but you don't love her, right? Nigga, I like pistachios. The fuck does that... I, I mean, <laughs> the I can't, fuck does that mean? I don't mean I can't yeah. stop eating them, nigga. Like, I don't, I don't love them. I like them. You know what I'm saying? You fucking, yeah, you fucking, you fucking, you, you fuck, yeah, I would mood cashews, nigga. No. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you like her, you don't love her. No. So it ain't like, yo, you know, I, 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 it's a marriage and now it's over. It's like, all right, you like her. You, you liked somebody before. Fuck is you 10? No, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck like, you move GB on. I you got to chalk it ass. I disagree. Dickhead move my bad. No, I disagree. And you got to move on. You go like somebody else that got fucking real skin, nigga. Real like, skin? Yeah, like, what the fuck? What the fuck you think she's a fucking snake and shit? I'm just, clearly he called the Talk Heavy podcast, so clearly I mean, that shit got bad. bad. It had to be bad. All I'm going to say is this. Like, they got all type of acne medicine, and, you, and if you like a person's character- It might not be acne. Bro, fuck what it is. I don't think that you understand, no, I don't understand. how- Yo, I need to pull your gram up right now. I need to show you how you look in this fucking I look Snapchat good. I look filter. good on every picture. Bro, listen, My nigga. Fucker. Nigga, your beard is full and My shit black. Full. I, I thought the nigga died up. his beard. Bro. I thought you dyed your beard. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You was cute, nigga. I'm always you cute, You was nigga. cute in that shit, bro. bro. Watch your mouth, young boy. <laughs> Here you go. All due respect, all right, don't listen to GB. If you really like this person's character, man, then you go ahead and get a help, man. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me, motherfucker. 
You go ahead, you oh take her, God. you go, you get the clear seal, you do whatever you got to do, man, but you treat her right because you like her person. I don't interrupt me. I'm finishing up. You had your chance to talk about he the top dickhead. You're not the top dickhead. Bro, You're not the first bro. motherfucker to get Snapchat fixed. All right, I'm going to let you finish. But you making it like the nigga said her skin was bad. He didn't say she he had acne. He said she looked like kind of bumpled still skin. What does that mean? <laughs> I figured it was a lot of bumps. I guess that's what he meant. He said she had a lot of fucking bumps on her face and shit. All right, well. But you. Fuck, is she a teenager? First like, of who all, the fuck first has. All, fuck, she, fuck, she's an adolescent? Nigga, who the fuck still gets bumps on their face? All right, never mind, man. Go ahead, man. Uh, what do you want me to email him there and ask him if she a I, fucking I, teenager? I, I don't fucking know. Go the ahead, point man. of the matter, man, when dealing with a woman or dealing with anybody, period, it should be more about the character, dog. You, it's not going to always be about looks. That's superficial what? shit. Shut up. I'm talking. What? Superficial shit. If you really like this person and y'all was vibing again, because what you going to do, you're going to go get you a bad chick. She going to look good. Her face going to be clear. And you're going to fucking hate her. I don't want no goofy bitch with a good personality, nigga. I don't want no bad bitch fuck? that I want to punch in the face every about? fucking night. I'm just saying. And you don't want the prettiest bitch. Yo, listen, you know how many girls, hold on. Listen. You know how many women that's ugly as shit because their personality is ugly as shit? Yes. I know, a lot of, I know a lot of cute women that have fucked up personality. And then they become ugly. And you start finding shit wrong. Look at You this don't got to fuck with them either. You have a choice, nigga. Hey, man. Nobody got a gun to your head saying, yo, look, like, I like he this. He might not be that good This bitch looking. ugly, but I like her jokes. He might not like, be Like, she funny. Looking. Like, come on, bro. He don't got to. There's nothing written in stone where he say he got to fuck with her. No, he don't got to fuck with her. He don't got to fuck with her. So you think he should just dump her? He like her personality. Fuck Yeah, her. if you like her per Listen, okay. Okay. Be first. Okay. All right. If you like her personality. There you go. If you like her personality, right, you just talk to her through FaceTime with the Snapchat filter on, right? Mm -hmm. That way... That'll make you feel so much better. You guys can go ahead with your relationship. You know what I'm saying? And you could just act like everything's everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because if that's where you want to take your relationship, now the issue is when you go on, when you go to bomb, I'm just, I'm, I don't know how that's going to get. For, for, I got advice for that young lady. Don't go raw. Young lady that has a lot of bumps or whatever the case may be, and, or you don't look good, I got advice for you. I got some homies. They'll sleep with anything. So if you're looking for a man, I'm setting up the talk heavy date and show in a few weeks. You can come on here. I got some homies that'll sleep with you no, no matter no, what you look no, like. Don't, don't, Believe me. Don't, I, we don't, you don't listen, know them? No we, don't, we don't got no, no homies that'll sleep yes, with anybody? we do. All right, don't I'm do not, that. Yo, this don't is not to get a... Don't do that. This is not to get indicted podcast. Nah, I'm not saying don't niggas names. do that. These niggas don't, don't have no don't, picks. Don't they do that. They got no standards. Bro. They got no picks. I'm, listen, bro. I'm sitting here telling them not to do that. He about to say your name. I don't do that, bro. I'm about to say his name. Don't do that. Don't do that's that. That's it, man. That's the end of the second quarter. Hit like and subscribe. Sorry we couldn't help you, this man. This is the Get Indicted podcast. Yeah. Yo, we are definitely getting taken off the air. We didn't fucking see it. First of everything, all. Everything, listen, we said everything on this show that you are not supposed to say. That's not we my done fault. said midget. No, I didn't say that. We said retarded. I didn't say that. We said tranny. I didn't say that. Uh, What else we said? I'm not saying what we said. We said everything on this show. I don't want to go back show. and look at them old episodes. First of all, before we get out of this quarter, since he want to say that, Words can have different meanings depending on how you change them. So it's no different meaning. Uh, yeah. It's no it's no who different make, meaning than midget. Who makes the meaning? Midget, who makes the mean? Mean? midget means one thing. I'm changing. What midget are you means talking cup. about? Midget means cups. So I'm drinking out of this midget right now. I've drunk out of a midget. There you go. Dude, you probably didn't drink out of a midget, you fucking nasty bastard. There's nothing wrong with drinking out of a midget. Not true. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. All right, man. Come on. The end of the this quarter. is the end of the second quarter. This third quarter is brought to you by D. Stanley Catering. Listen, man, D. Stanley Catering is an off-site catering company that specializes in small, intimate settings. Most importantly, the food is good, man. I was tearing my platter up last Yeah, week. I was ashamed on camera, man. I was tearing it down, man. <laughs> yeah, man, but she has her own season. And most importantly, she's starting a class for girls ages 17 to 24, teaching them how to cook. She's yeah. about to change the world with that, She's about that, to bro. change the world with that yeah. one, man. So make sure, man, you go to IG and hit up at D. Stanley Catering or go to www.dstanleycatering.com. D. Stanley Catering, where food comes alive. Welcome to the third quarter of the, the Talk, Talk Heavy, Heavy Podcast. Podcast. Yeah, 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 man. Let's, uh, let's get into it, man. I don't want, without further ado, I don't want to slow this up. We got a very serious topic that I want to talk about. Okay. Um, and for anybody I offend at home, this Talk Heavy Podcast is going to happen. That's what we do here. Um, the topic is suicide, right? Mm. 
I'm I'm gonna tell you my theory on it, how I always felt about it. Mm -hmm. I felt like if you ever committed suicide, that you were a pussy. Mm. And, I, and, I, I'm, but I'm, I'm not gonna lie I, to I'm you. I'm finish. You, okay. you, was, you was you was conditioned to think that way though. Somebody put it. That somebody, somebody put it in my head. Right. So right. up until recently, where I realized like people really have mental health issues. Mm -hmm. That depression, you know, and, mm -hmm. and other things that that real clinical depression, not that I ain't got the capable of money depression. Right, right. That there's other serious issues, but because of that, I don't even stress the way certain people stress because shit, I don't, I don't even weigh certain things in a certain amount because I feel like if you was to kill yourself over anything, you're a pussy because you you're afraid to deal with problems. Now, even now, mm -hmm. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I don't do nothing. I had the same stress, the same bills as everybody else. That's I don't fact. do that shit because I feel like if I got to resort to any of that shit to deal with this pressure, I'm a pussy for it. I'm a bitch ass nigga because I'm not man enough to face it without having to take on uh, drugs. And that's fucked up. I'm sure yeah, it is. But, it, um, but I, I feel like uh, I used to be that way too until I, um, you know, once I got a little older and I realized that, uh, you know, mental illness is real. You know what I'm saying, and I and I realized that a lot of things, like like small shit, like just being fucking depressed and anxiety and all of that shit, like those are the, the building blocks that lead to that type of shit. Like okay. a lot of shit that that go on in motherfuckers' lives that they feel like be dumb serious, mm -hmm. don't be that serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and I'm and and you know, and, and on my journey to be become a better person, you know what I'm saying, like I'm starting to, you know, mm -hmm. like let certain shit go. You know what I mean? Just because it's like, yo, I'm not, I'm not, I'm at a point in my life right now, man. I'm not being depressed over nothing, man. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, if the motherfucking cable gonna get cut off, Fuck it. nigga, let the cable get cut off, nigga. Yeah. I got a cell phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as Pornhub free, like, the fuck, like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, on, like on, on a serious note, though, it's like, um, I got, I, I had two family members commit suicide, mm -hmm. right? And um, uh, one of them happened. I was a teenager. And um, like I, I just didn't have the tools to 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 deal with that mentally. Like I felt how you felt. Like one of my cousins uh committed suicide um uh, while his mom was in the house. Like you know, literally walked in the crib, mm -hmm. said "What's up, mom?" Kissed her on the cheek, and while she was in the kitchen, you know, cooking dinner, went upstairs and hung herself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I can remember getting the phone call and driving over there, mm -hmm. uh. I probably might have been 17 at the time, some shit like that. And, you know what I'm saying? He left a note. And it was just like, yo, that was my cousin and I loved him. But, you know, I felt like he was weak. He was weak. You feel you that? You know what I'm saying? I felt like he was weak. I had a cousin and we talked about it. And he was like, you know, for so many years he contemplated suicide. Which right. was shocking because you would never know. A lot of times we, we look at people and we think things are all good. Like everybody think I'm doing good at home. I might not be doing that goddamn good because I'm smiling. But... I had a cousin, and he was basically telling me, like, for the past five years, I've been contemplating suicide. And I'm like, well, if you do that, you're a selfish motherfucker. Because at this point, I'm feeling like mm -hmm. you're a pussy if you do this. Right. I'm like, you're a selfish motherfucker. Think about all the other people you're hurting. You got a right. mom. You got cousins who love you. Got... And he said to me, right, what about me? What about what I'm going through each night? You see, he said, you don't know what it's like to really be clinically depressed. Mm. He said, man, each night is painful. Yeah, it is. The uh, and so from, it that, is. that 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 is when I started to tilt the switch because I had a homie from middle school. He broke up with his girlfriend. His girlfriend went to go be with another nigga. He blew his own brains out. Uh, and for me, I'm like, yo, it's mm. 10 million women. I know you love her. You got to put them Osley brothers on. I always talk about the Osley. I got to, uh, believe I, it or not, I got to, I mean, be, so, so because we have all of these examples, you know what I mean? It's basically just to prove the point that this happens more often than you think. You know what I'm saying? Like you, 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 you think about this is like just some movie shit. But you know what I mean? Mental health issues are real. You know what I'm saying? And you know we, we, you know we laugh and joke and shit like that. But you know, uh, I recently, you know, got a phone call from a friend, and you know, kind of had to talk him off a ledge, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like so, you know, without naming names, and and and, and it just let me know, like, damn. Um, it was a point in time when somebody had came to me like, yo, I'm think I, I feel like I want to kill myself. Mm -hmm. And um, I was on the phone with this person and I, I you know, I, I got to apologize because I was like, what? Like, come on, you fuck, you fucking weak. Like, mm -hmm. yo, like, come on, man. Yeah. Like, that shit ain't that bad, blah, blah, blah. But, 
you know, I felt like that was an immature response on my part mm-hmm. because, you know, just because I've never felt like I wanted to kill myself, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, doesn't mean that, you know, it's it's a it's a weakness or it's a, or it's a it's a thing that you know can't happen. Yeah, it's definitely you know what I'm a reality. Saying? And um, I've seen guys say it like, I, it, all right, so I'm gonna say this: Is this guy on social media every fucking week? Oh my god, I'm about to kill myself. Oh my god, every time I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I know yeah, you're talking every about. time his girl and they go through some shit, he threatens that I'm about to kill myself. And mm-hmm. then you know social media is fucked up. The internet's fucked up. Everybody like. Nigga didn't do it then. Jump off a ledge. Push it. Like, yeah, social media don't give a fuck. Social media don't give a fuck. And so what I'm looking at, and I, I kind of felt like that after a while. Like, at some point, I don't not feel like go ahead and kill yourself, but I felt like, come on, man, with the bullshit. Like, nigga, like, push the button. God damn, you going to come. It's like, stop coming here and telling us about it. But when I when I watch the comments, and I'm like, damn, if this person really has mental health issues or he's really going through it, it's like, it's like almost peer pressure to kill yourself. It's like, mm-hmm. man, do it. Fuck it, do it, and I, I, like, I, I think will people say that. Are, are fucked. Uh, I got you, but I think people are fucked up because it's it's one thing to think that it's weak, but it's another thing to encourage somebody who may not be as stable yeah, to take like, their life. I mean, the, as far as the depression, um, like I've been, um, not not to the point where I felt like I wanted to kill myself, but I've been depressed before to a level that it was like borderline. I felt like I would need help. You right. know what I'm saying? Like you know. I grew, uh, you know, I grew up uh, a certain way, um, and I, you know, I raised my sons as a single parent, and there were times when shit got tight. You know what I'm saying? Where, where shit got tight at home, and it's like, yo, I don't know, like, I don't know how the fuck we gonna eat. Like, I don't know, you know, what's what's gonna happen. Like, and it's like when you got other people depending on you, like, you can imagine, you know, what I'm saying, you got a daughter, that's stress and level, you right? can imagine that stress level was different. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not something that you could just put off. Like when it comes to your kids, man, that's a different. Like so, that's a different some thing. Pe- some people do anything to make sure that they kid had that dinner. That's yeah. why so many people are locked up because yeah. it's like yo, and, that I, and I fought with, and you know, and I had outside influences, so I fought with. You know, do I take this chance and possibly do a three to five? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then I really can't be in my kid's life, mm-hmm. or what do I do? Yeah. See, we, but we also grew up from them households where, like, my mom ain't really had shit. You know what I'm saying? When, when growing up. So whether it was welfare, food stamps, whatever the case may be, we didn't recognize how poor we was when we were young. No, no, no. Not nah. for a while. I, I never felt poor. We never felt poor because we had it, the love and the family and the relationships. Like, so when I when I think about those things, even with my own child, you know what I'm saying? I'll shovel shit to make sure that she has right. what she needs. Don't get, it, don't get it messed up. Absolutely. But on the flip side, I know she would never even recognize she was poor to a certain no, It's like, how can I, if, if I'm on food stamps, right, mm-hmm. how the fuck I'm going to feel poor when everybody on the block on food stamps? When everybody that's surrounding me is living like I'm living, it's like, yo, when I go to school, everybody on it, everybody got lunch tickets. Everybody eating the freebie everybody lunch. So it was like, yo, it was nothing to stress about. Yeah, yeah. Right right now, though, in today's society, that's a L. Like our kids, our kids, we our kids ain't going for that shit. Yeah, they spoil you know what I'm saying? They, they, yeah. It's a different it's a different thing. And, you know, a lot of motherfuckers is, is, is depressed right now. But I'm going to tell you, I can't say that because, like, you know, I, I work at the community center, right? For sure. I, I know kids that's really fucked up the way we was once fucked up. Like Yeah, they, but they live around other kids that's fucked up too, in a sense. In a sense. In a sense. In you a know sense. what I'm saying? Like, like you know, where your community center is located and, t- and, you know, some of the kids that come in, it's like... Some of them hungry as shit. Yeah, but listen, the crazy part is even the ones that come in there that's hungry as shit, mm-hmm. they probably don't feel like they poor. They might not. They might not. They just hungry. Yeah, they might not. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? I, I got it. You know what I'm saying? They might not. That's, they that's might the not. Word. They just like, yo, I'm, 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 I'm hungry, and this is where I could get a grub at. But in they, in they, in their heart and they soul, they don't know that they poor. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you, one of my best friends, right? His dad had mental health issues. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And w- growing up, so and from that, it made him like his whole goal in life is to be the best father ever. It's like because of where he, where his dad lacked, mm-hmm. it was his motivation. And so we talked about. We talked about, he put in my head, like, yo, if you go crazy, you a bitch-ass nigga. From, a, from young. Because but, but, it came from the hurt of his father having these mental issues. 
You know what I'm saying? It came from the hurt of his father not probably able to be there the way he's supposed to. So he looked at uh, it as that's some weak shit. Mm -hmm. I'm never gonna fucking be crazy. And you, my man, if you fucking lose your mind, you a bitch ass nigga too. Right, so and so, but, but, hold on, let me finish. It conditioned my brain to not have respect for mental health issues. Okay, so uh, as a you know, as a what what, what would you call it? Like, um. As a confession, mm -hmm. um, on my part, I have felt that way. Like I, like I used to criticize motherfuckers who, like, showed weakness over women. Okay. Like I would be like, "Yo, you mentally weak." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, "Yo, why the fuck is you acting like that?" Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just because, um, like I've went through my bumps and bruises with relationships, and I've, and over time, have become numb in a sense. So it's like, yo. If a if it's like if a nigga break up with a chick, right, and he crying over her and he and you know, he get I you know, I immediately start to look at you like, bro, you why you being weak? Like just go get another bitch. Yeah. Like, yo, just go, you know, to get over your old girl gotta get a new one. Mm -hmm. Like that's kinda like my mentality. So it's like, yo, are these like, defense mechanisms. Yes, they are. They, that's what I, that's, that's, that's what, what I'm getting at. That's okay. what I'm getting at. It but you know, it it took time for me to be able to sit back. And recognize, like, yo, like, I'm really the weak one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm really the weak one because I'm judging. Mm -hmm. And because I'm acting like a motherfucker shouldn't be human. Mm -hmm. I'm acting like, yo, you should handle this shit how I would I handle, handle this it. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that shit leads to mental illness, man. Like, that, a lot of that shit is, mm -hmm. um, you know, everybody trying to keep up and put on a show for other motherfuckers. See, but I think us is, like, I, I consider myself a real one, right? And when I say real one, we say course, real nigga. We say what I, I really, of course, I'm fucking hundred bucks stand up. Y'all know me, and I'm a real one. I'm not afraid to tell my true feelings about any situation. So You're listen, not, I, I can, I'll I can tell a motherfucker that. like, "Yo, my heart broke. I'm fucking crying, but I'm gonna be all right because I ain't no bitch ass nigga. I'm gonna bounce back." That's crazy. It's okay to fucking go through. For me, it's okay to break up. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to cry. It's okay. That's real. Like when I'm mm -hmm. talking to somebody, it's real shit. Cause I think everybody goes through it whether they admit it or not. What's not okay is to stay down. Is to commit suicide after this woman leaves you. It's just not okay to me. It's not okay. Um It's not okay it's to not kill okay. her. It's not okay. It's that's definitely this, this, not okay. What's happening these days? That's definitely not okay. Women like, yo, this relationship not working. I wanna leave. And these fucking weak, I, I'm calling them weak, you weak ass men. Right. Or killing these women. That's a fact. This is ridiculous. Like, That's you got to, we got to toughen up mm, to a certain listen, degree. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not saying a nigga get a pass or none of that, but mm. if a motherfucker is mentally unstable and he got some mental illness shit that's jumping off, it's like, um, I can't say do you blame him, but it's like- I know like, what you mean, though. Yeah, I mean, I, can't, I don't even know how to word it, because, like, do he get a pass is kind of crazy, but it's like, do, like, uh- do we understand, like, now that we got a better understanding of, mental, of health. mental health issues, it's like, yo, the nigga probably always had these issues. Mm -hmm. Like, it, like the with the murder rate in Philly right now and in Detroit and everywhere else, motherfuckers everywhere. clearly don't know how to fucking, uh, what, what's the word? Um, They don't know how to navigate their motherfucking feelings and deal with conflict. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's, it's like, a, it's oh, shit, issue. the nigga want to fight me. Let me take his life. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's 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 uh I I, I it's crazy because it's like you would think that these things happen um few and far between, but it's like I know every situation. I know a motherfucker who broke up and fucking went and killed her, the new boyfriend, his kids, all that shit, everything. You know what I'm saying? I know that I I know when that has probably happened at least three or four times, yeah. three or four it occasions. Happens, it happens. You know what it I'm happens. saying? Like I it's it's yo that shit's crazy, but. Uh, I've never felt like I want to um, kill her. Um, I never felt like I I I wanted to kill myself. Um, I do know of people that have felt like listen, mm -hmm. and it's like not even to be on no funny shit, right? Mm -hmm. Not even to be on no funny right. shit. I know a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Shout out to him. I'm he if he watching the show, he's gonna know. Nobody else is gonna know. Mm -hmm. But I know a nigga, right? That. Literally, I, I feel like he got mental health issues. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've talked to him about it. I felt like you need to definitely go sit down with somebody. And I want us to all stop feeling like um going to go sit on the couch 
sitting down talking to somebody. Yeah, we promoting that. Being medi- like if you like if you need medication, like a lot of times we are against that. Two and I mean, and if you against that, that's cool. But I never feel like going to sit down and talk to somebody just to recognize what your issues is. Um, but I got like you know, I I had a homie who who feels like yo, he got to keep up with the Joneses syndrome, right? So it's like he literally go into like a manic depressive state if he can't get the latest thing, right? And it's like a different level. It's not, it's not like, I know oh, saying. I need the idol. The Jordans came out. Oh, man, I can't get them Jordan slides. I really want them. I know I'm talking about depression over physically it. sick. Yeah. Oh, no, I like can't do nothing. Like, you know how when a motherfucker marriage is over, mm-hmm. how motherfuckers be devastated, they be fucked up. Like, he is this way over materialistic things. <sighs> like, materialistic things. I'm, and, 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 and it's like, and it's like he literally can't function. Like, if he see something on a gram mm-hmm. and he see, it's like, oh, shit, he got those. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, my God, I got to get them. That's crazy. I mean, it's crazy for me, probably because I'm the least materialistic person when it comes to Yeah, fucking, I, I can attest If they that. tell you, like, I, I'm, I'm kind of frugal with wardrobe, that's the nice yeah. way of saying cheap as shit. Yeah, this um, motherfucker is definitely frugal. <laughs> I'm cheap as shit. Listen, listen, listen. Uh-huh. This motherfucker is so cheap with wardrobe. <laughs> He won't even let you buy him nothing. I'm not spending my words. I won't let he you. Won't let, he won't let you buy him no, no nothing. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm in the store right now, bro. I'm about to get you this jean jacket. He be like, man, <laughs> don't, too much money, uh, man. don't spend the money. Don't waste your money, man. Don't waste your money, man. Listen, my whole wardrobe budget from Devin Wade, I probably only spent like $200 of that but shit. the nigga will go to IHOP. And spend, buy this motherfucking pancakes and buy out for everybody. Out. <laughs> buy pancakes for everybody. Hundred, he spend this bill be two hundred dollars. I'm like, bro, you would spend yeah, two hundred dollars on a meal that you could eat one time, Wait. rather than go buy some fucking vapor maxes <laughs> that you could wear for two months. Who makes me happy? Like, bro, what? Like that shit? That don't even make sense. I'm, uh, with material, all right. I, I'm gonna even give you one better, like. We value we value some some real bullshit in this in, in I the world. Absolutely so agree. We value materialistic shit. Mm-hmm. We look up the fucking celebrities. You that's know what I'm a, saying? That's like, a big thing too because we look, um we, we 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 uh like I like I I don't know like like just I'm a serial uh I'm a serial comment reader. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So if y'all if y'all ever put any comments on a talk heavy podcast, I'll punch you in your face. Whether 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 positive, whether negative, I read every comment. I'll if punch you in your face. A thousand comments, I'll literally sit there and read all comments. Right. You know what I'm saying? G Slice, has tougher skin than I do. Yeah, I mean, I just because I just realize that it's just words. You know what I'm saying? It's like Slice is the type of motherfucker that wanna jump through the computer. He wanna find you. All like all that shit. I'm I I recognize that. Yo, man, listen. They could be anywhere in the world typing some bullshit on the comments, yeah. but they here with us. Yeah, that's that's how. That's kind of how that, I feel about it. it. But I do feel like um in today's era, we 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 worship a uh, celebrity like on a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? And like you, what you gotta sit and think to yourself is what what really is a celebrity? And sometimes. We act like they not people. We act like they not human. We act like they not human. Like they got like they got powers mm-hmm. and shit like that. Like uh, like you know, only thing is that they're popular. Yeah, they're very popular. I like I like giving respect where respect is due. Yeah. Like so, if I'm like I'm a big fan of Master P, right? Right. So if I ran into Master P, I'd be like, Yo, I fucks with what you're doing. I respect you. We'll have these words if we. I mean, if we exchange. And that'll be about it. We might exchange dialogue. I mean, if we sit down and talk, I'm going to pick his brain because I'm always, you know what I mean? He's somebody who I admire and look up to. Right. But I'm never going to run up to Master P like, like hugging him and I don't even know him. You're God to me. Yeah, it's like, I was like, I, wa- I love our fans. I love everybody who would have talked heavy podcasts. They come up, they're like, yo, that's my shit. And I love, I love it. We dap, definitely. we can take pictures. Definitely. But that's it's- weird. That's kind of and 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 in that space, mm-hmm. right? That like what you saying, what you what you saying, mm-hmm. what you're saying mm-hmm. in that space is kind of weird to me. When it comes to like the talk heavy podcast fans, I love it, man. They come I up, they're too. like, yo. That's shit different. It's, it's, different. Re- it's real. It's like, yo, I fucks with y'all show. Yo, y'all, y'all keep it real. GB's fucking crazy. Like, I get all of that. It is dap hugs. We could take a flick if you want to take a flick. Right. It's genuine. I don't expect them to run up 
and value everything, especially not everything you say. You be dropping condoms off at people's houses doing washing. Don't listen to him. Listen to but for our fans, it's like, yo, be, respect the show, respect the craft, but what we say don't ain't law. You. you know what I'm saying? What we, what we say I'm, ain't I'm law. Human. A lot of the shit that we say um, is shit that I would probably say to my friends. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a lot of my friends know how I talk, so they take it with a grain of salt. Right. You know what I mean? They kind of look at, like, I say anything, slice is kind of mm -hmm. the uh, the level-headed one, which ain't true. Mm -hmm. Like, don't take nothing that either one of us say but for so far. Like, at some point in time, you got to understand that this is entertainment, too. But we're not God. You know what I'm saying? We're but not. And we're not God. But we saying, like, I mean, it, I mean, definitely follow my relationship advice. But, you know, a lot of the other shit that I say, you know, you kind of. Kind of, he it. believes all that shit. <laughs> First of all, he, like, he I don't say nothing on here. I don't believe. Yeah, it. that's a fact. Um, it's like we have to fucking set values on what's what's substance and what's bullshit. Absolutely, substance is not materialistic shit. Mm -hmm. Big house, big cars, big... motherfuckers is unhappy with all that shit. Um, I, I listened to a conversation of a motherfucker tell me, um, and I hear this a lot. Mm -hmm. Like you be like, oh, well, damn, well, what happened with your uh? Oh, damn, you was married? You divorced? What happened? Oh, man. I was fucking, I was paying all the bills. I was doing this. I was doing that. I'm like, yo, bro, you talked about everything but love and, man, none, of and none of that shit. You start talking about the bills, this, that. I'm like, dog, did you did you, did you you love the person? Did you, did you really love the person or was it convenience or it was about the percentage of the bills that was getting paid? It's fucked. It is like, yo, man, this shit this shit out here is fucked up. And um I just feel like, you know, and I've said this will probably be my third week saying this. You know what I'm saying? I feel like um us as black people, especially in the city of Philly, and I'll say this again, because this is my city and I love my city. Bad and, things happen in Philly. Bad things happen in Philly. You <laughs> heard you heard your president you heard your president. Your president. Um, and I just feel like we all need at least one therapy session. I feel like because with the trauma that we go through, like put it like this, right? Mm -hmm. Since I was a kid, mm -hmm. probably like at the age of maybe 13, 14, mm -hmm. I, could, I, I remember being at the uh, bus stop at 29th and Cecil B. Moore, right? Mm -hmm. Waiting for the bus. I can remember right up the street hearing gunshots and not moving. Of course not. Like just turn and look like you be looking for where the shit coming from. Mm -hmm. Like you start, you start running damn near towards the gunshots. Like yo, shit, who's shooting? Yeah. It's like yo, that's trauma. That's, trauma. that's not normal. You know what I'm saying? To be like you, basically growing up in a war zone to the point where you're comfortable. You're, con you're, you're almost, comfortable. You're comfortable with bullets flying. Yeah, like to, to, to walk down the street and see a dead body and be like, yo, bro, look, boy, dead. Mm -hmm. And kids will take you. Yo, it's a dead body, in, a dead body in the alley. Want to see it? They'll take you to it. That's, that seems yo, like some movie shit. That shit is realistic. That's trauma. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I, I just feel like our people, how, man. How, besides, besides therapy, because that's the only one. Like, Do you feel like, all right, we, we'll talk about the stress. There has to be ways. There has to be ways that you kind of take care of yourself. Like, and, and when I'm saying, I'm talking about self-love, self-understanding, self self-motivation, self-reflection, like, I know our religious people are going to say religion, but whatever big, works for you. Whatever works for you. I think religion and meditation and all of these things, whatever works for de-escalating this stress, is a major piece to one not commit you gotta suicide. Take time. You got to take time for yourself. That's 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 number one. Um, the biggest thing that has helped me, um, is being an introvert. Okay. Um, being an introvert, um, and definitely like I live in my head. Okay. So a lot of times it's like you know. When I'm when I'm around the house by myself, it'd be hours and hours and hours and hours that go by without me ever even speaking a word because all my thoughts are in my head. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times what that does is it gives me time to self-reflect. And I think that everybody needs that time. Like we can't you can't live twenty four hours a day for other people. You know what I'm saying? With people um, dumping their stress on you, dumping their problems on you, on you, running you here, running you there. At certain points in time, you have to take that time for yourself to, to have time to sit down and, and even if it's to take a, a a a reflection of like, what did I do today? What did I do for me today? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What did I do today or accomplish today that I wanted to accomplish for myself? 
Mm-hmm. Not what I did for Slice today. Not what I did for the Talk yeah. Heavy podcast. Not what I did. Like, what did, what did GB do today that made GB happy? Self-love is not selfish. It's Absolutely not. not. It's not. It's, it's, not. it's, it's what's deserving. Because you can have... Self, self-love self also doesn't mean fuck everybody else. No, it doesn't mean... You know that. what I'm saying? Like, And I think a lot of times people get the two, um, the two confused. A lot of times people confuse, mm-hmm. oh, I love myself with... Fuck out of here! Screwing somebody yeah, else yeah, over, screw yeah. somebody else no, over. That's and that's not, it's it's not that. I, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people play it that way, though. A lot of people carry it that way. They carrying it that they way. They carrying it that way. So, but nah. I what? mean, self love is very very important. Um, you know, especially in today's climate when we all are um so damaged. And I know there's a lot of motherfuckers at home. Like yo, now nah, he ain't talking about me. <clears throat> we talking about you. Yeah, we talking about you. Let me tell you. Would you believe that the trauma that I went through? Is the reason why I live life so peaceful and so happy. And, and I know this sounds crazy, and this, this is probably part of my mental illness. But I, I probably lost my first friend, like real childhood friend, at like 12. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's happening to all the kids these days. But back then, to, to have your friend murdered and left in the park where y'all play at, it fucks that's with hard. you. At 12. You know what I'm saying? And then from that point, I mean, and I'm sure it probably was murders before then, from step five as the uncles, all in the four block radius. You know what I'm saying? It's like, mm-hmm. You got Oyuk Road, Jerome Street, like Coleman, Cowan, 12th Street, and Hunter Park Avenue. It's like it's like four or five blocks, but it was so many murders that you almost become numb to the shit, right? That's what I'm saying. And it's, 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 it's trauma, but it made me appreciate each day. Like, I have no fear. Like, I go to any neighborhood. I have no fear of dying because I feel like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying every moment on this earth. I know that. What's for me is for me anyway. Like, that's how I feel. So, I, I understand that feeling. This is why I love the way I do. Like, I could be beefing with somebody, like, arguing with, my, say I'm arguing with a woman at home. I'm going to tell her I love her at night because I truly respect every second that I'm on earth. Um, I haven't graduated to that point yet. It's like, I know that at any moment I might not be here. Or right. you might not be here. And pe- we right. all, everybody else make plans. Like, yo, next Saturday, nigga, we in Miami. No, next Saturday might not hit. It might not come. And, that's, and, that's real. And, and because of the amount of deaths, and I hate this, that they were so violent, you know what I'm saying? Because it fucks you up. It, it makes me scared to love certain things. You know I, what I mean? I can attest to that, too. It, but it also gave me such a gift of appreciating the fucking roses when you smell them, the mm-hmm. sunlight. And um, even for my homies on the block that went to jail, I had one come home from jail. He said, man, when I was in jail the last time, all I remember you saying is, no, nothing is worth sunlight and coochie. I'm not giving up sunlight and coochie for nobody. And and like these type trauma food, I don't even trauma food. I just made that shit up. Trauma food. Put that shit. I told you words you can change. Don't listen to this trauma thing. food. Those type things can make you better too if you have the right outlook. You know what I'm saying? And I think like I don't want to say it come from. It's a mixture of that and not wanting to be weak. But you fight through these mental health issues. You deal with the stress. You don't go pop ninety perks to do. It with don't the make you weak, man. Like you know what I'm saying. Like being mental health, like like even if for the people right now that's that's fucking with the pills, you you smoke weed to cope. You you know what I'm saying. Like that shit. I, I don't want you to feel like you know what I'm saying. That makes you weak. I just feel like um we need to just be a little bit more informed. I got I just, the secret. You know what I'm saying. I feel like we just need to you know spend a little bit of time. Self reflecting, like really look at yourself in the mirror, mm-hmm. really, really look at yourself in the mirror, and really tell yourself everything that you don't like about what you see. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even if it take a like, but like me, hard. like listen, it's me personally, hard. I took a fucking pen and a pad, right? I took a pen and a pad because I found it hard to put my flaws in the words. It's like when I'm trying to explain it to you, mm-hmm. it's like. It's hard to put in the words. The things that I do is hard to put in the words. But I was able to sit down and write that shit out so flawlessly. That shit came out so right. easily writing it. Like, yo, I, this, I, yeah, I do this. Oh, yeah, I don't like this about myself. I don't like this about myself. I don't like this about myself. Mm-hmm. And then you, you'll, you you know. I challenge anybody at home. This is going to fuck them up. Right? This when you know you need help. I want you to go in the bathroom or wherever you go. I want you to look in the mirror and I want you to really look at yourself and then find, say 10 nice things about yourself. I don't give a fuck if it's GB. Like, yeah, I like my haircut. Um, You got to find. I definitely like my haircut. You got to find. If you, if you can look in the mirror 
it, 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 with ease and start to say compliment and compliment yourself in a really fine day. Some people How about go, this. Some like, people gonna look in that mirror. Look in the camera right now and tell tell me five things you like about yourself. About right myself. Now. Mm, first five. of all, give me give me five. First of all, what I like about myself most is my inner beauty. You understand? I'm not supposed to be looking in the camera. I love my personality. I love my character. I love that I'm a stand up. I love that I'm loyal. I love the fact that money doesn't define me. I love the fact that I could go back to my hood and I'm respected. Mm. I love when you make that phone call, you're like, yo, is the boy Slice real? And they be like, yo, that's my guy. I love the fact that mm. no matter if we getting our ass whipped in the fight, I'm not going to run on you. You going to, I love that. I love who I am. Mm. I love the five, more importantly, I love the father that I am. Mm. That's like and, and so talk, you got, man, talk my nigga. I love how good looking I am. First of all, ladies at home, I'm single. If you want to give me a call, Next my number two six seven four five. You gotta DM me for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I mean it's 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 like that's a very difficult exercise, and I guarantee you, those I would love for you to leave a comment. Look in the mirror and tell me was it easy to give yourself ten real compliments while looking? It's real shit. It's tough. It's, it's tough. tough. That self love is hard. We're not trained to love ourselves. Five. Ten might be conceited. Ten, ten is sliced. Ten, ten, Five for ten, you. <laughs> yeah, ten's conceited. Five for everybody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm encouraging. It's tough. I'm encouraging what you're encouraging. Let's get some help where we try and fool. But I'm, first, like you said, you might got to write it down. Yeah, you got to write it down. I mean, it worked for me. Like, I, I saw it somewhere, man. And I'm like, man, this is bullshit. But it's like, yo, it's so easy to be, to be dismissive. You know what I'm saying? So it was easy for me to just look at shit and be like, yo, you know, th man, this bullshit. I mean, I mean, I fuck out of here. That shit corny. Yo, got a got a pen and paper one day. I was just sitting at the computer and it, you know what I mean? And I'm I just started writing like everything about myself that I didn't like. Right? What it did for me, and this is a true story. What it did for me is being able to see it on paper and being able to read it. Now in my everyday walks of life, I'm way more conscious when I see it. You're attentive to it. Yeah. When I see it. Like I remember reading that shit on the paper. Mm. And it's like when I go to do that thing, mm -hmm. it's like, ah, let me let me try, try to let me try, let me try to I, I because and not for nobody else. Mm -hmm. I don't like this about myself. Not that because I'm around. I've been this way my whole life. Mm -hmm. My family members know that I'm like this. It's like people who's grown to accept it, which may not even be fair. Yeah, it's not fair. It's not, it's not fair, but because they love me, they accept it. Mm -hmm. But it's not fair that they have to accept this. Like, I can be better here. Be you better. know what I'm saying? So it's like, it'd be like little shit that I go to do or say or react or I'm... I, something happens that I don't like and I'm about to pick up the phone and I'm about to bitch about it and it's, it'd be like, ah, that's that thing I do. Mm -hmm. Let me, let's rewind, mm -hmm. let's decompress, it's not that serious. Mm -hmm. If I, it's like, if Slice, you know, goes on social media and he says something and I'll be like, why the fuck the damn, man, bro, why? Mm -hmm. It's like, end of the world. Is it the end of the world? Is it the end of the world? No. I'm just using that as an example. I, I, hold on. I like that. Because maybe with every fucking aspect of life, right, we need to start off, and this is for y'all at home, and question, damn, is it the end of the world? No. For every fucking thing. No. I think that starts with how we weigh in this shit. Oh, my God. Rent's going to be late. I don't want to. Is it the end of the world? Bro, yes, sir. That's why I came in here dressed how I really yeah, dressed. spent the rent money. I, 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 I just no, it's just that Dev Nasty cut the check, and, and you I, ain't getting my fucking and I ain't cut. Give you your cut this month. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dev, man, I need you not fucking cut the checks directly to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the direct deposit. I changed the route and the account <laughs> number on the fucking account on the direct deposit, nigga. Well, shit, but but nah, it's crazy. just like you know, I'm cool with just being. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with just being me, and 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 you know, I'm even cool with the motherfuckers who might not like me for being who I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. You, bro, I'm just, I swear to God, man, I've evolved thanks to the Talk Heavy podcast. You know what I'm saying? I'm. This is my therapy. I'm able to come here and share with, with, with you guys. Like, you know, we, yeah, we, you know, a lot of people listen to this and I've had people come to me and like, yo, my God, bro, this shit is therapy. Like, you don't understand. And I appreciate that. But what y'all don't understand is how this is therapy for us. For us. It is. 
You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of things that get said on this podcast that Slice might say, you know what I'm saying, that stick with me. Last week, I discovered I was a narcissist. Yeah. Yeah, heavy. I mean, we all know I drop gems. My, so, thing, is, you know. my thing is energy, right? Anybody who know me, uh, let me make sure I'm talking this in the mic. I want y'all to hear me. Anybody who knows me knows, like, my new thing, and this has been me for the past couple of years, is about the energy that's around, right? So when I go down to the block, it's a lot of love. Uh, uh, uh. But then I also got that negative energy. And when that shit around you, you feel it. It's, it's real shit. It travels through your body. Let me tell you something. It starts to irk you. Let me your tell face you. grew up. Mm. And I removed myself. I realized, like, because energy is so real, mm -hmm. scientifically and, and however you yeah. want to look at it, that the way to avoid it is to remove myself from negative energy and always keep it around positive as much me, as possible. Let me possible. tell you something. So, um, let me just say, you know, to you that um, at some point in time, that's physically impossible. Okay. Especially where we live and shit like that. It's going to always be negative energy around. Right. But on another, on another note, when you love yourself, right, mm -hmm. even though that negative energy might be around, mm -hmm. listen, I can dismiss that negative energy with a smile on my face. Mm -hmm. Like, listen, that, that negative energy, that's your issue. Right. That's You always hear me say, yo, that's day karma. You stronger than me. That's day karma. Like, bro, listen, there could be a motherfucker around me who, because I'm, you know, mm -hmm. I've mastered the art of being around motherfuckers who don't like me. Now, that you did master. I've mastered the art of that. Yeah, you, you know what I'm that. saying? Like, I can come around and... I, I because I love me, how you get how you feel about me don't matter. Yeah. How you feel about if I walk up with slice, how you feel about slice don't matter as long as you don't act on it. I don't give a fuck if you really don't like them. Mm -hmm. I don't get I love them. Right. So you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like I'm more I'm so internal to the point that, bro, it, it, as long as I as long as I love me, as long as I love me, the energy around me, it, if Everybody says they want positive vibes only. Mm -hmm. What's the like? What are the really the odds of that? What are really the odds around being around positive vibes All only? Because even the most positive people are negative sometimes. That's fair. So you're never going to always be around positive vibes. So the motherfucker, so some most of the time, you might get a, a bad phone call. Mm -hmm. Now your vibes ain't positive. That, that can happen. You, you see what I'm saying? That so it's no, you're never going to always be around positive vibes. Now let me tell you something about me because everybody thinks I'm the super nice guy, right? Which I am. I am I'm a super nice guy, but you can ask Ant Man in the back, right? There's times we're in, in, in environments where certain people come around, and I say, yo, bro, I'm out. Because I'm going to punch him in his face. So when that energy come around, it switches my energy. I go from goofy, silly, dancing around, to now I want to punch somebody in the face. You know what I'm saying? And for that, when you when when another person affects affects your energy, which you, which you have mastered being able to be cool with yourself. I would be right there. And I, with me, the difference between me and you is in that, in that instant, I will stay right there in the pocket. Right. The fact that I'm annoying him, yeah. don't don't. That's him. That's, that's on that's him. him. That don't yeah. bother me. And that's why I'm saying you and I are different. But I respect that you have the ability. That's that's a lot of self. That's a, that's a lot of self restraint. A lot of self. But love, I, I wasn't. All, I wasn't always like that. Uh -huh. I was always the person who vibed off of, um, how whatever energy. However you however you feel, that's how we acting. Okay. So you know. But what that does is, it uh, you. It, you give other people power over you. Right. So what happens is you allow other people to turn you into somebody that we just said. You look in the mirror and you and you write down ten things about yourself, right? Mm -hmm. In that instance, you're allowing other people to turn you into somebody you that, don't that you don't want to look at in the mirror. Right. Because what's going to happen is we talked about the same way we talked about motherfuckers that commit suicide mm -hmm. and all that shit as being weak. Kind you kind of letting another motherfucker Control. be responsible for what your emotional state is. Mm -hmm. That would be considered kind of weak. Kind of weak. You see what I'm saying? So, but when you love yourself and you and you conscious of who you are mm -hmm. in any state, bro, you don't. It can't nobody it, at this point in time. If you go was to go back maybe ten episodes, it was an episode where I um I gave an example of you know um if I'm having a good day, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say my girl's having a bad day. If my girl was to walk in the room. You know what I'm saying? If if the person I was in a relationship and they was to walk in the room and they was having a bad day, I'm immediately having a bad day. Mm. I was that way for years. You know what I'm saying? It, it, and it just was because I, I was codependent on 
with other people's around me energy. Like even now, like if we was to come in here and do the podcast before, if if slice energy was down, my energy's down. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like I would always come in before we, you know, did the podcast. I'd be like, all right, bro, come on, we gotta step our energy up. Right. Because I need your energy in order for me to have my energy. And that's how I feel about strong energy. When we're here, when Dev here, Keep Our Moms here, Ever the Podcast, Devin Wade Show, Porter, Porter Rich, Rich, Chelsea, Wally, Garnett, uh, when, Garnett everybody, Briscoe, when everybody's um, when everybody here, everybody here, it's a fucking comedy show. It definitely is. It's fucking, it's, it's, definitely it's, is. it's family, it's fun, it's comedy, it's love. It'll only take one asshole to walk in the room and fuck the energy up. Nah, not for me, bro. Yo, they, for nah, me. not for me. For it's you, like, yo, yeah. cause I, 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 I'll be like, yo, who the fuck is more like he's here fucking up the energy? You know what I'm saying? And that's what I probably have to go back and reflect yeah. and work on. Like, work we, on. like you know, I'm a yeah. serial peeper, so like I peep everything. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'll peep that boy's fucking up the energy, but that's his problem, bro. Listen, yeah. he, the happier we get, the madder he get. Facts. So that's his shit that he got to deal with. Yeah, success is the great. You know what I'm saying? Like, too. yeah, that's 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 his energy, man. So you know. So and I know we've been going for a while, so I'm um. But we just trying to stress this mental illness thing, I'm man. Stress like, mental illness. You know what I'm saying? It's not. We don't want you to feel like it's weak. Is a is a weakness thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make you weak. What we look um, like on the time over there? Okay. Forty eight. All right, that's good we money. Run, we gonna get ready you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we good because we ran back, I think. But right. Yeah, yeah, we did. I don't know. Did. Yeah, I don't It might have been a stop. It might have been but, whatever. You know, fuck it. Either or, they but, need these bars. you know, these, you know, we don't want you to feel like uh, mental illness is a weak thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I just want you to realize that self-love is one of the most positive things that you could do. Um, before therapy, I feel like, you know, like Sly said, man, look in the mirror and tell, you, tell yourself, Ten things you like about yourself. Said five, ten, you know what I'm saying? Like five five things you like about yourself, five things you don't like about yourself. Mm -hmm. Get a notepad, write that shit down. You know what I'm saying? Because if everybody that you come in contact with got the same issues with you, then you the common denominator. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can't go through life feeling like it's everybody else. At some point in time, you got to sit back and you got to fix you, man. And, you know, I, I'm signing off from there, man. You know what I'm saying? And my last thing before we sign off is time. Let's appreciate it. I don't give a fuck that COVID kicked in. Time kept moving. I don't give a fuck what happens. This time is not fucking stopping. And you only get one life, man. It's no repeats, man. Make sure you enjoy every second, man. Tell somebody you love them, man. Fix a gripe. It is. And that's it. And, and that's the end of the third quarter. This fourth quarter is brought to you by Sean Pro Management. Hey, listen, man. This is the time to call Sean. If you want to avoid being catfish, he's the one to call. Yeah, he got those surveillance cameras outside. So when she show up not looking like those Snapchat filters, <laughs> don't man. Let don't in. let her in. Don't let her in, man. That's but in all I... seriousness, man, if yeah. you need some sheetrock done in the house, man. man who... You know who I'm calling. Sean Pro Management. Some roofing. Sean Pro Management. Lawn care. Sean Pro Management. Or just for all around property management, man. You call Sean Pro Management. But mm -hmm. make sure that when you call Sean Pro Management, you use promo code Talk, Talk Heavy for 5% off. Sean Pro Management. You're going to love coming back home. Jungle villains on the track, nigga. So, so, gang, 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 another lane, gang, 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 gang. What? Cause I'm young, so. I think she love me, I think she really love me. But I can't love her, I really cannot trust her. She want me good for a job, a bitch, a thug, yeah. I'm young and thug, yeah. I'm really young and thug. I'm young and thug, and I'm really young and thug. I'm young and thug, and I'm really young and thug. I cannot love you because I'm young and thug. I might just fuck you once because I'm young and thug. I'm young and thug, and I'm really young and thug. I'm young and thug, and I'm really young and thug. I cannot love you because I'm young and thug. I might just fuck you once because I'm young and thug. No girl, I can't cuff you because I'm young and thug. I'm riding with them gunners cause you know I'm thuggin' Be that bitch a stunner, she gave me stone cold head yeah, She begging me to cuff her, but I'm young and thuggin' Suck her ass boy, come on, fight me cause he know I'm thuggin' yeah, But he not gon' do shit cause I'm young and thuggin' I'm sorta just like future and you Scotty Pippin' You not gon' get your 
bitch man cause I'm young and thug yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think she love yeah. I think she really is up yeah. But I can't love her, I really yeah. cannot trust her yeah. Yeah. She want me good yeah. for a yeah. thug, yeah. bitch I'm thug yeah. Yeah. I'm young and thug, yeah. I'm thug, yeah. young and thug yeah. First time that I fucked you, girl, I had you cussing. She sucked me for so long, my plays had me rushing. When the nuts, you gotta go through discussion. Told that hoe, adios, cause I'm thugging. I can't get in the party yet because I'm clutching. Told the bouncer, I don't give a fuck because I'm thugging. Like a back wheel for the cream, cause I'm steady rushing. Like some feathers, we gon' pluck em cause my niggas thugging. I think she love me, I think she really love me But I can't love her, no I can't really trust her She want me good for a time, the bitch I'm thugging I'm young and thugging, I'm young and thugging